I don't have my camera, so, but I have the camera in my pocket. Actually, I used this last night because the internet wasn't good for uploading, and I uploaded four videos, five videos. Um, I'm doing them basically a week apart uh, so that I don't have to do as many on a daily basis and it might may come down to me doing them more often but for now that's what I'm doing. What I'm going to do uh, at the moment is I've got these dried bread. Uh, I actually toasted them by mistake. I left them in the oven and then I turned on the oven and you know. Um, but I'm going to put them in the blender need to put down the camera to do that and then I'm just going to pulse them a little bit to uh, make them into breadcrumbs instead of just dried bread. Well, I'm not sure the camera's liking the lighting. Uh, let me turn... Uh, okay, I'm going to pulse this. I'm going to go uh, get the camera so I can use the tripod. I, the camera on the phone is great to have, but it's a pain to download, and I don't have Bluetooth on my laptop, and I'm going to get the other camera. It's just easier. Voila. Breadcrumbs. These ones are toasted, admittedly, by mistake. Uh, I just, like I said, I had them in the, I had them in the oven to dry, and uh, I turned it on. But that's uh, something I'm going to finish cleaning this. I'm going to put this away. I've got other stuff going. Um, I'll show you. These are uh, bamboo. Uh, chopsticks mom has. I don't know what she got them for. They've been around a lot of years uh, since I was pre-teen, early teen, something. Uh, they've been around a long time. Gas stove. Yeah. But um, they're working for what I need at the moment. Uh, I want to take the get the breadcrumbs out. probably a little bit uh, fine and that's because I used a blender instead of a food processor mom does not have one I have that little one that was grandma's that somebody gave to her to chop onions uh, or that she bought I don't know and uh, mom actually gave me one but it's just a small one not much bigger than that one. That one's a one cup. But there's a there's the breadcrumbs. This is the uh, gluten free or mostly gluten free starter that I did. It's using the rice flour and a teaspoon of the original 100% uh, hydration. This one is about 166% hydration. I just took it out of the fridge and fed it about 15 minutes ago. I'm going to try pancakes and I'm also going to try those uh, sourdough crackers uh, with the rice instead of the whole wheat. Whole wheat is low gluten. You actually have to add gluten when you're making yeast bread. Um, so uh, gluten free shouldn't make a lot of difference because they don't actually raise a lot. But that's another thing I'm on. Uh, Mom actually got out the brown sugar. She wants me to make some of those rice, steamed rice in the microwave, the little breads. Because her stomach does much better with that than with uh, uh, the, the wheat flour. Uh, she either has a gluten allergy or gluten intolerance or possibly celiac disease. Uh, we're going to research that by 
going gluten free for uh, the sourdough actually I started because her stomach's been having issues and I'm going to continue it with the gluten free or as she calls it mostly gluten free uh, starter um, but I need this to wake up after being in the fridge and it's probably just going to take stirring it several times today to get it woke up and get it bubbling because it was before and uh but it it did do well in the past mom gets this uh it's a mac marble century macaroon mix it uses three and a half cups of this mix to a half cup boiling water and then you need to let it sit for 10 minutes before you bake it it's, and it says to spoon it onto the thing mom has this uh, the book from it says 2 of 77 down here in the bottom corner I don't know if it's showing up but 2 of 77 mom's probably had it since 2 of 77 or 3 of 77 I remembered around as a kid but I'm going to attempt to use it to make some green macaroons for uh, St. Patrick's Day because mom wants to get them done early uh, and she wants to make them a little smaller. If I recall correctly, this is pretty noisy. Uh, we'll find out. Well, we're going to try these. I uh, believe for flattened, they're supposed to be 11 to 13 minutes. I'm going to put them in for 12. The oven is already preheated. I'm going to do some more reset. There is more. Uh, so, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. This is kind of a pain to refill this. Uh, I had to take it apart uh, and clean it. Uh, the, at least the bottom portion of it. Now I'm going to have to refill it. Uh, there's the back of the plate that does it. But it's going to take a bit. Mom likes this idea. I don't. I think we just need to find a smaller scooper for the... You're the one you suggested. Yes, I suggested, but she thought it was a neat suggestion. I don't, but I'm the one doing it. Uh, she's got a scoop for doing cookies, but it's just a little too big. Uh, oh, geez. Well, I got to clean up. I just dropped the funnel here. Uh, Dad, no, no, no. Bella, no. Just for... <laughs> this is the size of Mom's scoop. Uh, these are about one and a half inch cookie. I can't remember if she threw away the box so I don't know what the scoop is. But I gotta get this cleaned up so I can continue. Well I got this cleaned and I'm trying to get it filled again. Uh, I shoved the funnel down inside. It's definitely not gonna fill the thing and I'll have to run it to I get it to I come up. Mom's just saying we'll look for another scoop. Uh, there's a kitchen store, outlet store, uh, not far. <clears throat> I need to get another spoon so I can get this pushed in before I can use the pusher. Uh, I'll get back to it when I've got this functional. The, there's a lot of empty space. I've got to run this a little bit to get it down. It's noisy, so I'm not going to. I just took uh, some out of the oven, and where these points are, I need to knock them down uh, because those got a little bit burnt on the previous batch. But I'm going to do this. Well, there's not much left, so I'm going to try to fit them on here. Uh, Mom's saying they fluff out, but they're not fluffing out much. I'm just going to make a couple bigger here. There's 
then discussed possibly dipping half of these in chocolate afterward. We'll see what happens. Uh, may or may not happen. I need to pretty these up a little bit. Uh, I need to sp gonna knock this these down these ones that are a little bit taller so they don't burn on the tips a little browning on a macaroon is okay but black is not and they got a little black on the last ones well mom says they're not but they are uh, gonna get ready to put these in the oven well she says dark brown not black uh, I'm gonna put these in the oven put set the timer see what else we're going to do today. Thanks for watching. Perhaps cooking. Feel free to share, give me a thumbs up, or subscribe.